Hello everyone, if you are running a business and want to collect data on consumer preferences, opinions and buying mentality, then creating a rating scale in Excel is the best option for you. Researchers often use rating scales to understand sentiment and trends in the market. Even when developing a software or product, rating scales can help to prioritize which features must be addressed first. So, this is Jihad Rianjim from Excel Demi, and today we'll learn several methods on how to create a rating scale in Excel. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have the list of food and their rating in column B and C. Our target is to create a rating scale with the help of this data set. For this tutorial, we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we'll be using conditional formatting to create a star rating scale in Excel. First, we'll be going for the D14 cells to insert the star rating from number 1 to 5. So, we'll be writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the D14 to H14 cells. Let's go for the D5 cell and insert a formula. The formula starts with the if function which checks whether a condition is met or not and returns one value if true and other if false. After that, we'll be going for the logical test portion. In the logical test, we'll be comparing D14 and C5. So at first, we'll be selecting D14 in the logical test and we'll press F4 in the keyboard for two times to make it absolute row reference. Then we'll be using less than equal sign which will be comparing it with the C5 and again press in the F4 in the keyboard for three times to make it a absolute column reference. After that if the value is true that means the condition is fulfilled then we'll be having the output of one if the value is false that means if the condition is not fulfilled then we'll be going for our second if condition which checks another condition of round up function. So in the logical test, this time we'll be using the round up function, which basically rounds a number up away from zero. And it has two parameters. The first one is the number. And as number, we'll be selecting C5 and we'll again press F4 in the keyboard for three times to make it a absolute column reference. After that, we want to get zero digits. So we'll write down zero as our number of digits here. After that, if it is equal to the value of the D14 and we'll press F4 in the keyboard for two times to make it absolute row reference. And now we have inserted the logical test. If it is fulfilled, then we want to get the output as value if true. That means we'll be going for the mod function, which returns the remainder after a number is divided by the divisor. And inside it, we have number and the number will be C5. And now we'll again use in the keyboard F4 for three times to make it absolute column reference. After that, the number of divisor will be one. And if the condition is fulfilled, then this portion will be activated but if the condition is not filled then in the value if false the return will be zero and now let's press the enter button to get the result here let's summarize the formula a bit here at first in the conditional formatting we have the d14 less than c5 or not this portion checks whether the value in the d14 is less than or equal to the cell of c5 or not if the condition is true then the function returns as one which we have shown in the value if true portion. If the condition is false, then it will be going for the second if function, which we have already used in this section. And now it has set our new condition with the if function by going for the roundup C5 comma zero. This portion checks whether the roundup value of the C5 cell is equal to the D14 or not. If it is fulfilled, then the next portion will be going for the mode portion which basically calculates the remainder of the C5 divisor by one. And after that, it will be going for the return value. And if it is false, then it will be returning the zero. So after everything, it has fulfilled the value. So we have gone for the one.
Now, let's use pill handle tool from left to right to get the same formula for every cell of the row 5. Now, again, use the fill handle tool from up to down to get the same result for D5 cell to H12 cells. Now, let's go for the conditional formatting to set it as a star rating. So, we'll be choosing D5 to H12 cells. Go for the home tab and in the styles, we'll be going for conditional formatting. Choose new rule to open new formatting rule dialog box. Select format all cells based on their values and in the format style, we'll be choosing the icon sets and in the icon style, we'll be going for the three stars. As we're trying to show it as stars, so we'll be choosing the show icon only. But now we need to set the value. Before that, we need to go for the number as we have already inserted numbers as our values. But now if we find any value that's above 0 0.8, then it will be showing field star. Otherwise, if it is less than 0 0.3, then it will be showing a half star. So, if we go for the OK, then it will be showing the result. Any value less than 0 0.3 will show an empty star. A value between 0 0.3 to 0 0.8 will show a half filled star and a filled star will be visible if the value is greater than 0 0.8. If you see correctly, then you will see that it is 3.5, which is in between the 0 0.3 to 0 0.8. So it has shown the full three stars, but in the next portion, it is showing the half star. But in that case where it is 3.9, that means the fraction portion is above 0 0.8, then it is showing the full result here. So that's the condition formatting to create rating scale for you. In our second method, we'll be adding data bars to create rating scale. At first, go for the D5 cell and insert the rep function. The rep function repeats text a given number of times. Here, we'll be going for two parameters, text and number of times. As text, we'll be inserting the barcode. So we have inserted the barcode and then we'll go for the number of times, which is the C5 and multiply it with the 10 times. That means we want to get repetition of the rating of C5 and then multiply it with the 10 times. After that, press the enter button to get the rating here in the D5 cell. Let's use the fill handle tool to get the same bar rating for the whole D column. Now we'll be going for the home tab here in the font section. We'll be selecting the font and here we'll write down play bill and Press the enter button. Now we have converted it into data bars. Select the D5 to D12 cell and go for the home tab and in the styles we'll be going for the conditional formatting to set a proper condition. Now we'll be selecting new rule and here in the new formatting rule dialog box we'll be going for use a formula to determine which cells to format. In this section we'll be inserting if the value of c5 is less than 3 then let's click on the format to open format cells dialog box click on the font and go for the color and select a color here if it fulfills the condition then the data bar will be showing this kind of color click ok and you'll be seeing the change has happened now again select the d5 to d12 cell go for the home tab and in the styles again go for condition formatting new rule and add new formula in the new formatting rule dialog box this time we want to show c5 is greater than 4 go for the format to open format cells and again go for the font and change the color Suppose in this case you want to show the green color, click OK and press OK to show the color here. If the value is less than 3, then it is showing the orange color. If the value is greater than 4, then it is showing the green color. But if it is in between 3 to 4, then it will be showing the black color. So that's adding data bars to create rating scale for you. In our new method, we want to create rating scale by the help of a star symbol in the wingdings font. So 
let me demonstrate you what is a winding swan's star symbol let's go for the d13 cell in go for insert tab and in the symbols let's choose the symbol to open symbol dialog box in the font section now we'll go for the winding symbol wingdings symbol choose the wingdings and here in the wingdings font we'll search for the star symbol now if you choose it go for the insert tab and you will see here the wingdings star symbol we want to create a star rating scale by the help of this symbol so let's go for the main method let's go for the d5 cell and insert the rep function which repeats text a given number of times next we'll be going for the text and as text we'll be inserting the left pointing arrow and after that we'll be going for the number of times here in this portion we'll be going for the condition formatting by using the if function which checks whether a condition is met or not and inside it we'll be using the mod function in the logical test the mod function returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor and inside it we have the number which is in the c5 cell and now the number of the divisor which is one after that we'll be moving to that the condition is it must be greater than 0.49 then we'll be going for the value if true then we'll be going for the ceiling math which rounds a number up to the nearest integer now select it and we'll be going for the number portion which is in the c5 cell after that if the value is false then we'll be giving the output of c5 directly and so let's summarize the formula here the formula repeats a certain character for a number of times based on whether the decimal part of the value in the c5 cell is greater than 0.49 or not if it is greater than 0.49 then the rounded up value is used otherwise the original value will be used in the output section so let's press the enter button and see you have got the star rating here now use the fill handle tool to get the result for every cell of the column d now we need to change it as the star rating so we'll be going for the home tab and in the font we'll be searching for the wingdings so the wingdings symbols here press the enter button and you will be see that the final result of the star rating is here In our new method, we want to utilize the form control feature to create rating scale. We need the help of the star symbols from the article linked below. At first, we have inserted the empty star rating. Press the enter button and at the C10 cell, we'll be inserting the field star rating. Now, we have entered the two star ratings. After that, we need the help of the developer tab. So, we'll be going for the file tab options to open the excel options go for customized ribbon and here in the customized ribbon we'll be going for the developer tab tick on the developer tab press ok to enable the developer tab here after that let's go for the developer tab go for the insert and here you will find the form control select option button and you need to insert it here in the rating section and now you will go for the naming here if you double click on it then you will find the naming option delete the old name and write down the new name as one star so we have created our first rating symbol now we need to insert similar four more buttons from d5 to d8 now we have inserted the ratings here in this symbol now you can easily adjust them so that they look much more visually attractive in a line now right click on any of the option button go for the format control to open format control dialog box go for the unchecked or checked and then in the cell link we'll be going for the cell link in the d10 cell press ok and it is linked now you will see that each and every option button has already format control as the d10 cell link now we'll be going for the star rating if you change any rating here suppose you need to insert three then it will already change the format control as 
the rating option 3 star. After that, we need to go for the C5 cell and insert a formula here. Now, let's go for the C5 cell to insert the star rating for a function. Now, we'll be using the ref function. The ref function repeats text a given number of times. Here, we'll be inserting the B10 as our text of repetition and then we want to repeat it from 5 minus how many times that means here the rating of the D10 cell that means which portions are not fulfilled it will be showing the empty star rating for the next portion will be going for the ambassador operator that means it also needs to be fulfilled and in this portion it will be the repetition function of the symbol of C10 that means the field star marking the D10 cell that means the value of the rating will be the number of the repetition and if we press the enter button then you will be seeing that it has showing the final result let's change it to 5 and see whether it's working or not press the enter button and you will be seeing it is showing the result let's change it to 1 again and see whether it's working or not press the enter button and yes it's showing the perfect result so that's how we can easily utilize font control feature to create rating scale in excel In our last method, we want to add a drop down to create a rating scale. At first, we'll be going for the C5 cell and go for the data tab. Here in the data tools, we'll be selecting data validation. Click on the data validation to open the data validation dialog box. Here, as we're trying to create a list, so we'll select the list in the allow section and in the source, we'll be selecting the E5 to E nine cells now press ok and you will see that you have created the drop down list now use the fill handle tool to get the drop down list for every cell of the column c now you can easily choose the rating according to your wish suppose you need to add cookies as good then click on good here you can also go for the chocolate as very good select it go for the coffee as po and here ice cream as okay you can easily fulfill each and every rating by using the drop down list so that's adding drop down list for you so that's it for today you can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at academy.com or join our thriving academic community forum where you can post your excel and vba challenges and get solution from experts and fellow users thanks for watching our video if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this